Hi, welcome back to Linux. We are going to install the Tor browser today. Now, one of the reasons for installing Tor browser is it's a little unusual. So I'm gonna walk through the steps involved in this and I'm, I am gonna use it and um, try to install it in a way that gives you a slight bit of extra security than you'd have in your own home directory. Now, given it's negligible, but it may help. So first of all, what we're gonna do is go to www.thetorproject or torproject.org. So www.torproject.org slash download. And we want to go over and uh, we're gonna select Linux here. When you select Linux, it's gonna say, hey, do you wanna open this with Archive Manager? And we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we're gonna say yes. We're gonna open that with the Archive Manager. Now this just saves us a step of going through and, and ex extracting that. Um, of unzipping it for the command line, but we will still need to extract this in the right location. If you saw the earlier video with WPS Office and we looked at where it put the files, well, one of the locations was in slash opt. Well, we're actually going to change slash opt, so I hit Control Alt T here and bring up a new terminal. And uh, in this terminal, I'm going to change the ownership of slash opt to my account, which my account number is 1000, 1000, that's my user ID. Now I just type student.student, .student, that's my user.group slash opt R like this. And I'll do RC and we can see what it changes to go through. Well, we don't need to worry about that because it'll just be WPS Office. But I'll go ahead and do this and that R is recursive. So it'll go through all the directories and it'll change the ownership here. Done. Now that I've done that, that means that as a user object, not as sudo or a super user, I can go through and I can put things in opt. So you'll see a couple of things. You'll see su, which means switch user, and you'll see sudo, which means super user do. So uh, su is switch user and sudo is super user do. All right, now that we've done that, I can exit, leave that. I'm gonna choose extract here. So I'm gonna choose extract. Where do I want to extract this? And go back to the file system and choose that opt directory and extract. All right, came across the screen there. It said it extracted. It says, now would you like to show all the files? I'm going to say yes, show the files. And sure enough, when we show the files, there is a Tor browser setup right there. So you can just double click that or right click and choose open. As you click that, you may need to put bridge servers in there so if you need to, uh, or you can just choose connect. By the way, if this is illegal in your country, please don't do it. Um, one of those things, be careful. If it's something that you shouldn't be doing, then, then don't do it. Uh, I don't know of anywhere this is illegal, but if some people don't like it or your company doesn't like it, then, then there you go, don't use that. Now, here it is, Tor Browser. One of the fast little settings here you might wanna change is you may want to right click at a little gray portion around here and choose the bookmarks toolbar so that you get that little bookmarks toolbar. So as you save things, you can save them in that toolbar as you go around. Uh, fast intro tour. So this right here means that you have the lowest level of security. If you click that and go to advanced, then you can choose safest right there and you see that turns entirely black or you can choose safer and it goes half and standard is the regular. So that's Tor Browser. There are a couple of sites that we use in our hacking class and our forensics class that require the Tor Browser. So you actually have to go there to, uh, to download some of the information from the dark web. But for the most part, yeah, you won't need it. So there you go. There's a Tor Browser and there's another installation inside of Linux showing you another way to install software. Hope that this is helping and I look forward to talking to you later.